Hello, my name is Harvest Miner, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to install Mithril API. Mithril API is just a tool for modders and slightly benefits people who want to install more mods and slightly also benefits performance. What you can do is have a clean state of timber and stone, and this is how we're going to get started. Anything that you do in here, you can click play from the Steam and it will still work, and nothing should corrupt. All right, let's get started. You should have downloaded the zip file. In this case, I have downloaded a zip file onto a blank folder, and here we are. The Mithril API underscore 0 0.089 test build. Any future builds, such as 8.89 up, will actually have the same content inside. Open up this folder and you should see an assembly dash C sharp dot DLL. Before we get started, let's go ahead and see if we have a clean slate of timber and stone. Awesome, we do. So let's go ahead and replace the clean slate with the modded version. In order to do this, you can go ahead and go into your timber and stone or into your library and right click it, go to properties and you can go to local files and browse. You should see all of this maybe besides the VS and this is all you're going, going to have. What you should be able to see is timber and stone underscore data. This is the folder that is necessary. And then you go into managed and you should see assembly dash C sharp dot DLL. What you wanna do is quickly take your opened up dot zip folder you can extract it if you want or you can even drag it into this folder and it's going to ask you to replace this file and there we go now you just have to click play for timber and stone and there we go it should say beta beta version 1.7 mithril api v089 test build and that's how you know you installed it successfully